It's Wednesday, September 14th, 2011. I'm Wilson Tang on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. At the Build Conference, Microsoft previewed the next Windows operating system, and it works on both tablets and standard desktops and laptops. Windows 8 will feature a new user interface mode inspired by Windows Phone 7's Metro design. In the touch interface, gone are the classic start menu and icons. Instead, it uses rectangular tiles to display apps and information, like upcoming calendar events, email, and news feeds. To encourage programmers, to build apps for it, Microsoft gave 5,000 developers a Samsung tablet with the new Windows 8 operating system, but Windows 7 isn't going anywhere, as Microsoft said it would still offer the familiar Windows user interface. If you want to try Windows 8 yourself, you can head on over to buildwindows.com to download a preview copy. If you were too lazy before to group your Facebook friends in different lists, now Facebook is doing it automatically for you. The social network announced it is adding a feature this week called Smart Lists. Smart Lists automatically group friends into categories like work, school, family, and city based on information in their profiles. Users can also lump connections in categories called close friends, acquaintances, and restricted, but Facebook won't automatically decide who goes in those categories. That's up to you. Don't worry, any previously created list will still be there. Hoping to compete against plans offered by Virgin Mobile, Boost Mobile, and Metro PCS, Verizon is offering a new cheap no contract prepaid plan on Thursday. For $50 a month, the Unleashed plan gives prepaid customers unlimited talk, text, and web, but it's only available on three feature phones, not smartphones. Verizon tested the Unleashed plan earlier this year in Southern California and Florida. Travel deal sites like Kayak and TripAdvisor have a new competitor in the game, Google. You can now pull up a list of cheap airline flights with a quick search. Users can either go to google.com slash flights or type in the phrase in a search like flights from New York to San Francisco. Google will then provide a list of flights. In addition, the service can also search by price, destination, and even travel time. The feature is an extension of Google's recent acquisition of airline data company, ITA Software. Intel's Ivy Bridge Ultrabooks are on display at the Intel Developer Forum this week as manufacturers hope to catch on to the Mac Book Air's popularity. OEM showed off working models of Ultrabooks. That's Intel's name for ultra-thin and light notebooks with the new Ivy Bridge processor chip. The new CPUs are the first to use Intel's 3D transistor technology, giving a noticeable boost to features like graphics, raw processing performance, and energy efficiency. Ivy Bridge chips are expected in the first half of next year. The T-Mobile HTC Sensation just got an upgrade from the doctor. Dr. Dre, that is. The new HTC Sensation XE will integrate technology from Beats Electronics, the company HTC acquired a stake in last month. It will not only boost the sound quality experience of the handset, but also comes with a pair of Beats by Dr. Dre headphones, which are designed to soup up the call clarity and sound. The phone itself also has an upgraded 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, but no details yet on availability or cost in North America. It will be arriving in late September in Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Wilson Tang for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.